Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to evaluate variable expressions with integers. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given, well, this problem here. Evaluate x minus 4 when x equals 3 and x equals a negative 6. Let's start with the first part, part A. They tell us when to evaluate x minus 4 when x equals 3. Well, we have our x minus 4, and what I'm going to do is take this 3 and plug it in for x. So I have a 3 now instead of an x minus a 4. 3 minus 4 is the same thing as, well, adding a negative 4. Kind of helps you, maybe not, it's debatable. When I have two numbers like this, I first like to look at, okay, I want to find the difference between 3 and 4, but 4 is going to be the more negative 1. So another way to pose this question is, what's the difference between positive 3 and positive 4? 4 minus 3. That's an easy answer. That's 1. But since 4 is more negative than 3 is positive, it's a negative 1. And so 3 minus a 4, or 3 plus a negative 4, is a negative 1. Let's do the same thing with part b. We have x minus 4 when x equals negative 6. Again, I'm going to take this negative 6, and if I can find a way to get there, we have negative 6 we plug in for x. Negative 6 here minus 4. Well, negative 6 minus a 4 is the same thing as negative 6, well, plus a negative 4. And that's a little easier to see. Negative 6 plus a negative 4, negative 10. And there we have it. x minus 4, when x equals negative 6, gives us a negative 10. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.